I came to my queer identity primarily through books, through reading about it when I was older. Uh, I, growing up, I didn't have access to queerness. I wasn't taught about queerness. It didn't seem like something that was for me or was me. Um, so when I started reading about queerness and discovering myself and the queer community, I wanted to just keep reading more about it. Um, more about myself, more about what I could be and what other people could be that I didn't realize they could be. I think it's so important to get queer stories into the hands of queer kids who need them to see themselves, to better understand themselves and their community. But on top of that, uh, non-queer people also really need those stories. I was reading another story about how, you know, if you see a bisexual person in the media, you know, in a movie, on TV, in a book, you're like 45% more uh, comfortable with bisexual people in real life. Like, media has a huge impact on the way that we view the world around us and the people that we interact with. I taught school for a really long time, and there was always this don't ask, don't tell situation in my classroom, particularly because I was in Col uh, Colville, Utah. Um, and it was very clear, like I was not allowed to be openly queer. To the point where it was almost, the district was like alienating everything about queerness. Like we know these people exist, but we don't talk about these people. That's the literal phrasing. So to have a bookstore, to have literature, to have it validated on that kind of level and to have the school initiative pushed is enormous because it does change lives, especially if we get in on the ground level with the educators from elementary school all the way up. There's so many ways that Under the Umbrella could use the community support. Um, you know, I'm one person, I have my own set of identities, which means that there are a lot of things that I don't identify with. Um, so I'm really gonna be depending on the community to help me make sure that it's inclusive, that it's accessible, that we are prioritizing the stories that need to be prioritized. I read a lot, but I can't read everything. So like literally please do send me book lists that I should have in the store. Um, I wanna make sure that we are prioritizing the most marginalized members of our community.